Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Christy. You may know me as Christy with a K. And if you don't know me yet, find me on a Wednesday during B7, maybe at the snack cart, maybe at the doors, maybe inside when we're shaking hands. I would love to meet you and just get to know you and maybe be a voice for you. I am here for day three of our BRP. So I am so excited to read to you what I have for today and then share some of my thoughts with that. We just got glasses here. So I am reading from Psalms 119, 25 through 32. And it says, I am at the point of death. Let your teachings breathe new life into me. When I told you my troubles, you answered my prayers. Now teach me your laws. Help me to understand your teachings and I will think about your marvelous deeds. I am overcome with sorrow. Encourage me as you have promised to do. Keep me from being deceitful and be kind enough to teach me your law. I am determined to be faithful and to respect your laws. I follow your rules, Lord. Don't let me be ashamed. I am eager to learn all that you want me to learn. Sorry, you know, phones, technology. I, <laughs> I am eager to learn all that you want me to, to do, Lord. Help me to understand more. So, wow, that's that's a lot. That's a lot about laws and teaching, and I don't want to be ashamed. I don't want to worry. Um, the scripture that really stood out to me is, when I told you my troubles, you answered my prayers. And then it says, now teach me your laws. So, man, my observation on that is, I've been there. I have told the Lord my troubles more times than I can count. And I'm so thankful for that because this morning I might wake up and have a trouble. Maybe in a week I'm gonna have a different trouble. So I'm so thankful that I can tell the Lord my troubles whenever I have them. And I know that one, he's gonna forgive me, but two, I know that I can go to his word and that's gonna help me through that trouble. And so in the scripture, it talks about showing me your laws, telling me your laws. So I thought to myself, well, what, what do, why are we saying law? Why, why is God's word law? And so we think about our laws, stop on a red light, stop at the stop sign. Um, I don't know, when you're taking your, your driver's test, you know, what way are you supposed to point your wheels when you're parking on the street? Um, so those are the laws, right? We follow those laws and we do it because that's what we're told to do. So when we look at our Bible, we're reading in our Bible, those are laws, those are God's laws, and we should do those, do the things that are in here because that is what he's telling us to do. And so when I think about the application part of soap, I'm, I'm gonna be real for a second here. I, ha I was praying tonight before I came and I said, God just, how do you want me to apply this to these students? How am I going to apply this? Tell me what you want me to do. And I just heard, what do you do? What do you do? And I said, okay, I know what I do. Um, and I'm gonna be um, real again, cause you know, why not? Um, I got baptized a couple of years ago and I never really picked up my Bible. I never, you know, I wasn't confident in opening the Bible and reading and I was scared because I didn't understand and I felt like, man, what am I, I don't know what I'm reading. How am I gonna apply this to my life? Well, one, I really made sure I took notes when I was at church and then I started with B7 and I took notes as Pastor Michael likes to talk about is my note taking. But I do that because it helps me remember and then I can say, Oh man, you know, right now I'm really feeling unsure about my future. Let me go back in my notes and find a scripture that helped me. Another thing you can do, I can Google, I can say, what's a scripture for when I'm struggling about my future? And I can pull up a scripture, go to my Bible, read that scripture, and it will help me understand, hey, this is applying to, uh, you know, what I'm dealing with, what troubles I may be facing. Um, another thing, I just brought a couple of things because, you know, I'm a teacher and I'm about being prepared. Um, this is a weekly devotional. Every week you come in, you read the devotion. 
Um, and at the bottom, there's a scripture. There's a scripture for every single week. Maybe it's at the top, at the bottom. But guys, that's scripture. That's God's word. That's his word that you can live by. That is his law that is going to be guiding you. You can also do a daily devotional. So I haven't started this one yet, but you know, it's here for me. Um, you can do a daily devotional and you can even go in your Bible app and click plans. And man, I'm really dealing with some anxiety right now. I want to plan about anxiety. And that is going to give you those scriptures. It's going to talk you through. And not only do you have the scriptures, which are God's word, God's law, you have a devotional and the devotional breaks it down for you. Just like we're doing right now. We're talking about these couple of verses, breaking it down. What does that mean for me? Okay, that's what a devotional does. Breaks it down. This is how you can apply it to your life. So that's what I have. I hope that that was pretty awesome for you because it was for me too. I just want to end um, with some prayer and um, while I'm going to be praying, you know, I hope you guys will bow your heads with me. Um, super important that we do that. So I'm just going to get us started. Dear Heavenly Father, I first just want to thank you so much for who you are, everything you are, your word, your law. Even if we stumble, Lord, you are there to pick us back up. And I have learned that so many times, Lord, so many times I have learned that you will always be by my side. So I just want to be thankful for you for that. And also, Lord, I want to ask that these students that are listening and our leaders that are listening, Lord, I want to ask that you can give them peace and calm and help them to not be afraid if they have to confess to you, Lord. Help them to not be afraid to come to you and confess so that you can comfort them. When we're in the midst of a struggle, Lord, they need to know that if they confess to you, you are going to comfort them, you are going to hold them up, and you are going to give them the peace in the middle of their chaos, Lord. I want to just thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be part of B7, giving me the opportunity to do things like this. And I wouldn't be able to do it, of course, without you, Lord, for help for you helping me to get to this place that I am today. So I really give praise and glory to you for that, Lord. And lastly, just come upon these these students and our children and all of our volunteers, anybody that's watching this really, because you never know who's going to be watching this, Lord, that you would find them in their place that they may be hurting, find them in their place that they may not know what to do, Lord, and that your word can be their guide. Your word will be their law, and they will be able to triumph with you by their side. In your son's heavenly name, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, so thanks again for watching. Subscribe, watch us, see you on Wednesday. Find me in the crowd wherever you see me. Come and say hi. I can't wait to meet you. Bye-bye.